Okay, so let's go back to frame zero. Um, I'm going to drop my rate down to, well, let's go back to amount 80. Let's go to uh, 40, I guess. Make sure the emitter stops at zero or one again. And we will move this bitch all the way back. To, well, let's zero it out at the ground. And uh, let's go to one. see it's, it's still uh, we still have the surface area way up high we can cut that down to again we, 2020 is fine so 20 they all emit at the same time but we have to change the speed again or add a speed speed by surface there you are Again, we'll um, we'll click, we'll select the surface being uh, ground plane. We'll make sure that's set to um, surface normals. Divergence of let's say sixty, and that sprays them up. What we want now is a little bit of hang time. Let's change the speed a little bit. Let's say five hundred by 300 okay so each one of these will represent a little chunks of debris um, I'm going to turn this off for now so when it hits or I guess it won't hit but we can just focus on that I'm going to turn down the divergence a little bit on my speed I just picture like a mortar hitting just like a, you know, a grass, dirt, you know, field where it can kick up chunks of earth and stuff like that. So what we'll do now is, let's make some more room. Let's uh, go ahead and model out um, just a couple of chunks of stuff. Alt-C brings up standard primitives. Let's go to, um, let's, sphere is fine. Sphere. We'll keep it for the people. Sphere will go to uh, noise. We want our noise modifier. Also, if you hate searching through this list like I do, you can click on it and start typing in. I just got to the NOI, and obviously it took me right to noise. You can hit enter. It adds the noise. It works like that with anything. Like uh, if I want to unwrap an object, I can U. And right away, U brings up unwrap UVW because it's the first U in the category. Um, okay, so anyway. So we have our noise on there. I'm just going to solo this um, Alt-Q. Hit J on my keyboard to get rid of that irritating box. Let's set this to 10, 10, 10. Uh, we'll turn on the fractal so it can get like pretty sharp, and we'll turn down the scale. <coughs> Maybe I'll turn off fractal. And just increase the strength here. If you want smoother stones. Um, a lot of times the ones inside of the ground are smoother. Because of erosion and stuff like that. Like the, the rocks you see on the surface are usually chipped away from something. Or are meant as a decorative thing. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, we, we'll turn Fractal back on. We just have to make sure we watch our parameters at that point. Let's go five, five, five. And again, we can um, change the seed, which is again like a like a random uh, thing. So we have that. Let's say we have that. Um, w on the keyboard. Hold down Shift and drag. Let's go to seed. Uh, I don't know. Eight looks good. <laughs> And we can uh, hit R on the keyboard. W. 
You just want to develop these little things like this. You can even cut down this to like 18. <laughs> these things don't need to be ultra detailed unless they're, they're going to be like the focus, you understand? Otherwise, they're just going to have a motion blur on them and like, you know, a shitty texture map that's going to go away real quick. I'm going to also drop this to um, 18. Just so it's easier when we render, I'm going to... Select both of them, hold down shift, drag, and I want to change the seed again, just so we get something that's a little bit different, maybe, um, seven, 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 no, okay, let's change the scale to ten, starting to get a bit of a different shape now, maybe a ten, 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 uh, we're starting to get inter interpenetrating polygons, we don't want that. Raise the scale just till it pops back out. We got some sharp edges there. Looks good. And we'll do the same with this. Let's uh, go to 20. Oh. That's fine. And then we'll... Um, Maybe we'll make this one flatter. A little piece of like slate rock or something. <laughs> Could be anything. It's entirely up to you. Again, I just do this on some bullshit. Seven, seven, seven. See, that's a cool shape there. That's one of those good ones where the the southern people stand by a lake and throw it at water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, well, these ones look kind of similar, let's, uh, we can put, um, let's put an edit poly on there, we'll just, uh, we'll grab a little belt of these things, uh, soft select, that down, and we will scale it. That'll be it for this. And maybe uh, we'll put an edit poly on this one also. This is why I hate doing these kind of things because I'm always like, well, I'll just do it simple. And now I'm adding like, I'm adding editable poly to, you know, a piece of shit debris. And it's, oh. it's okay. Soft selection. Grow that. Maybe we'll move it and maybe even what happened there? Oh, I see. I forgot the keyboard shortcuts. If you're going to use a, uh, 